Now I like to use Pro Tools as well as Logic and Ableton Live, actually anything I can do a video on. And here in Pro Tools, I want to probably bring up the new MPC software as a plugin. So um, in order to do that, I have to have a track, of course, I want to assign to it. So I've got this track going on here. Then I'll take some of this stuff off. I want to bring in an MPC beat or something. So I've got this set up here. As you can see, these are inserts A through E. And right here we have a track. This is the re drum. And this is a bass drum kick here. And I may want to just use this track and create a new track. So what I can do is I can probably select this track. And then what I want to do is probably go here to track and go to new. I want to make a new track. It's going to be a stereo track since uh, the NPC plugin is stereo. Like an audio track, samples, I'm going to create one track. I'll create one track here. And now you notice it put it right next to the track that was right there. And in order to bring that plugin in, I'll go to here. And you see we have a couple of options. We have the multi mono plugin and then the multi channel. So we know the MPC is not a mono plugin like these other ones are, Contact and Reason, which is the Reason for Pillowhead software. We're going to go to the multi channeled plugin here and we'll look at it from right here, Instrument. And you'll see here I can pull up the MPC. So I'll click right there. And let's get my MPC Touch software just ready to go. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to load, depending on how powerful your system is, how much RAM you've got. But here we are, we've loaded in some, here it is, we've loaded in. And now that blink was the MPC recognizing it, the MPC Touch that is recognizing that the software is on. So once that happens, now the physical device is reading it and it knows it's a plug-in. So next I want to load something. I use my usual stuff here. We can go to Expansion Browser. I go back to here. Scroll back up. I can look at Projects and find a project I want to load in, right? Let's say we want to do something like load this in. I'll say load that up. It does. But you notice something here also. We don't get to see the grid, as you can see, right? There's no grid view. And the tempo is controlled primarily by the Pro Tools software. So if I close this out, and I'll say, uh, yeah, look at that there if I want to. I'm going to go right here in the software. I'll slow this. And that's my NPC. I'm picking up the tracks in here. Almost like an Indian sound. My MPC output. I pick it up or down right there. Close the plugin. Press stop, and it stops the plugin too at the same time. So remember, the tempo will be controlled by Pro Tools. And that's how we can use our MPC Touch plugin directly in Pro Tools. Next, we'll show you some more features about outputs with the plugin.